Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor and privilege to welcome you and also the distinguished dignitaries of the world community to stand up on your feet and welcome the star, the man, the myth, the legend to the David Hero Show, David! Al, welcome everybody to the David Hero Show, the show that is going to change the pro wrestling report, pbrshow.com. Many of you are wondering, why is the David Hero Show even here? Well, it's, it's, it's obvious. It is. The internet wrestling community, you know, they follow the tweets of the PWR Show and of course they David do. Hero. Of course they do. And they don't understand the true sense of humor. They don't appreciate <sighs> the creativity that goes into all the tweets and, and, and you being the guru of the talk show that you are, David, you must take them by the hand and lead them down the path to enlightenment. I, I do. And and we need to smarten the wrestling fans up. We need to I tell say, them what's what an going incredible on. set for your show too. And right. way to go to have a band and Doc Severinsen, the whole nine yards. You've really went all the way well, out. You know it's not like if Damien were here, well, he would have just you know, you know, cut Damien's rate budget. I MX card is uh -huh. what I did. Well, but, good. You know, so through the David Hero Show, we're going to have amazing guests. Amazing. Amazing guests. But let's first, you know, you've become an internet sensation, Al. Have I? Yes. Really? That with video your, got out? With your hashtag competition continues. It's true. The true. king of gym douchebag selfies <laughs> right here. <laughs> well, you I'm know. only trying to keep up with you. Well, well right. I'm, I'm, you're the king. I'll, I'll be the crown prince. That's How fine. does that sound? That's fine. And, uh, you know, you, it's not every man that can wear a tutu in public. No, not, and you have set the internet ablaze, ablaze with everything. Ablaze. You know? That would be an apt term, I think, Dave. It would be. Yeah. Blaze? A blaze. No, we're not the blaze. That's, a a a that's more of a conservative type show. Oh. We're not doing that one here. Okay. So oh. Flaming. F yes. Yeah, if I wear flaming. a tutu, I'd be flaming. Which I, I think it still has the most hits of all time. But, yeah. you know... Before Damien finds out this show is being done and produced and up and on his credit card and on his credit card, which, which we need to get hookers, <laughs> lots really? of hookers. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, we'll have to ask one of our guests where we can find them later. Oh, I'm sure. So, yes. I guess one of the two. Of them are, one of the two of them are going to know. I'm sure they know. You know. So, I mean, I guess without further ado, we should bring out one of our guests. Absolutely. We? I'm. I'm so excited. Who Parts of my body are pulling up inside me. Parts or just one part? Mm, both. Okay. Well, I think, without further ado, we should bring out our very first guest, a person that has been a part of the PWR show for the last four or five years. Really? She is the charismatic enigma of the show. Everybody wants to know. Kind of who, like a what, ninja. Yes, kind of like a ninja, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So let's bring in the one and only, the lovely and talented, Miss Linda Kay. Oh, yes. Come on, audience. Woo, yes. Hello, oh, oh, sweetheart. Oh, Linda. Yeah. There. How are you? I give hugs. Absolutely. I, I bet you hug. do. Fans, especially on this show, you're going to give a hug. Yeah. Oh, Thank you so puppet. much for having me on the oh, You're welcome. Show. Yeah. Very first. How about that? We love the fact that you and your sweater puppets are here. Oh. <laughs> and you have you really went all out with Cinderella your shoes. shoes. Yes. Well, I had on these hot, sexy pumps, but I broke on the way in. Oh, man. If I had a dollar for every time a woman's pumps <laughs> broke when I chased her. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have a so, lot of money. So, Linda, I mean... You've been a part of PWR show. You've been with us to WrestleManias. Mm -hmm. You've been with us to Royal Rumbles and pay-per-views and live events. And everybody always wants to know, how long have you and Damien been dating? That is a secret um, that's going to remain a secret. You're going to have to ask Damien himself. OK. Well, well I mean, we're sealed. We'd have to have him on the show. And yeah, he's not going to want to come on the show. Ixnay on the O'Shea. Yeah, because he's not very, very very, pleased by this. Okay, well, you know but what? Everything on the internet is true, so. Of course. True. Just ask Abe Lincoln. I mean, Al Snow has had how many birthdays in the last couple of weeks? Mm, quite a few. Yeah, it's been amazing. Happy birthday again, Thank Al. you. Yes. Happy Thanks birthday. Very much. Late it or early whatever so, it is. So, I mean, let's, let's pull the Band-Aid off. <laughs> how did you get started? in the professional wrestling business. Yeah. Well, actually, I think you know, sir. I actually met you what is many surprise? moons oh, ago. Oh, that's, that's true. Yes, yes. I wish we want to go, we can, I, we can tell that story, can't we? I think it's a fantastic story. It's going to, huge okay. ratings. I, I will say it. I won't get too detailed because. Um, the band wants to know. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Kevin Eubanks. Um, it's actually a funny story. I, this is the first time, true story, how I met Dave. True story. It was at a nightclub, Milwaukee. Um, there was a. WWE. You were underage. Wait, well, but that's not how we met. No. Yes. But 
<laughs> so. Oops. Huh. It's always good to go slow in a school zone, huh? <laughs> but um, I have been a wrestling fan my whole life, and then I heard on the radio that there was going to be some type of contest going on with this house show that was happening, and it was well, uh, it was during the Attitude Era. It was. Superstar uh, by the name of the Godfather. the Godfather. Yes. Oh, he had a lot of hoes. Yes, exactly. Back You're to right, hookers. I was very young. I mean, for to wanting to do this contest. So I was like, well, it sounds fun. They're basically, as everyone knows, like they were looking for some of the hoes to bring them down to the to the ring. But I was just like, oh, this would be fun. So you were trying to ring. Be I like to the, dance. You were trying to be one of the original Milwaukee hoes. To, no, well, just. You got to wear better shoes if you're going to do that. Stop it. <laughs> just during that show. So, yes. but you know, whatever. Feet. That was a, little, a lot of fun, you know. And but I'm trying to think, what was that song? It was Cisco. It was thong, the thong, the thong song. Thong, thong. Yes. Oh, boy, he had so many hits, didn't he? He got a lot of hits. Thong that song, song, thong song too. I mean, yeah, I could just go on, but, but that's Cisco. But yeah. anywho, that that was how we met, and then we started talking, and then I was, you know, like going to college. So I, wanted, so I was talking about how I wanted to go into and like you sports gave me media. An alias name and a different phone, uh, with the right phone number. Okay. Oh. Don't don't be worried about that. A lot of women do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because but, cousin Jack was along. I think that kind uh, of creepy. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean, right? A little creepy. Yes. It was just so long. It's great how. I mean, anyways, long story short is that I was, I you know, I talked to Dave. I was going to school for sports and media stuff and broadcasting and all that good stuff. But Dave just actually has become one of my best friends over the years, that's and a, that's amazing. started going to. Shows I, I'm just enraptured by this entire story. <laughs> really. That's a true isn't story. It, isn't it amazing? I, I you mean, didn't know that. Everybody, I didn't. Everybody always wants to. Everyone thought she got the job because she sleeps with Damien, and that's not the case. <laughs> I mean, it's because she was one of Milwaukee's original hoes with The Godfather. Uh -huh. And then we were looking for a lovely and talented person to come on PWR show, and there was Linda. But one thing I will set straight while I'm on the David Hero show is that a lot of people think, like, oh, I actually don't watch wrestling or don't know wrestling or this and that. I actually. You're a super fan. You really are. I, yeah, I, I truly am. I grew up watching it. And I do have a broadcasting background. A lot of people don't know all the other things that I do. But I do magic for the blind. I, <laughs> But no, I really appreciate you guys bringing me on because obviously yes. I love this. I mean, it's you're a big fan of the fun. WWE. You love TNA Impact Wrestling. Mm -hmm. Some of your favorite stars are in TNA Impact Wrestling. I like everything. Yeah, and uh, it's it's you have been a breath of fresh air for this show. If it, if it wasn't for you, I don't know how I could have put up with Damien for so long. And all those trips we've done. Oh well, yes, True. yes. You got an amazing sweater puppets too. And, and, and you want to know something? <laughs> Linda is a great roommate. Her and I have roomed several times together. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Willingly. Well, that's a different story. Uh, yes. There's always an extra. There's a reason why there's two locks on a door. Yeah. Yes. I was like last night. I had some girl pounding on my door at, like, at 3 o'clock in the morning, just bang, bang, bang. So I got up and I let her out finally. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, Linda, it has been our absolute pleasure to bring you on the very first David Hero show. Yes. And explain your worldwide story to everybody. And now they know. And, of course, we can follow more of your shenanigans on Twitter, at LindaK22. Correct. And uh, you'll have a lot to be tweeting out in the next couple weeks, won't you? Absolutely. I have fun really? stories. I have many stories. Yes. And they're all true. Yeah. That's the best part about it. Yeah. Well, leave sure. the arrest record off. We don't need that. That never happened. Well, and just so you know, because you were our first guest, you will also now get new shoes. Wow. Yes. Yay. Yes. Yes. Mr. Shoe has decided to uh, hook you up. And I yeah, know Mr. Shoe. One of our Shoe. sponsors. Yes. yes. And, uh, but yeah. not that you have lovely feet. I mean, you know, they're small. They're, they're, like, they're very well pedicured. Yeah, like it's a chimp's. very impressive. Like a chimp's feet. You know. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're cute. So, once again, thank you very much. Linda. Like you have been fantastic. And we'll have to ask you about the hookers off air because yeah. that's obviously something very important that Al wants to figure out. Time's wasting. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, thank Linda. You. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Not getting any younger. We will be back at the David Hero Show shortly after this with our second amazing hot guest. Yes! Who do you trust when selling your gold, silver, and diamonds? Robert Hack Diamonds was secret shop by the media, and they found out that Robert Hack Diamonds offer the most for their jewelry. At Robert Hack Diamonds, we'll treat you like family. Shop around before you sell, and if we can't compete a competitor's offer on your scrap gold, we'll give you $20 just for trying. Bring your gold, I'll get you some money. Robert Hack Diamonds is located at 76 and Layton in Greenfield and our newest location on the corner of Green Tree and Port Washington Road in Glendale. 
Welcome back to the ultimate show, the most exciting series that you'll ever, ever witness on the internet. Excuse me. We're back on the internet. I know, but it, it's, it's, we can get pepper and yeah. cinnamon. But I don't know how you feel about me and pepper. It's kind of oh, I've ate pepper before, so go ahead and tell her to come. Okay. Pepper Anyways, and cinnamon. welcome Absolutely. back, ladies and gentlemen, to the David Hero Show. Oh, yes. I didn't know we were back on the air. Uh, I hope how, Frederick gives us a good price on the how, girls. Yeah, that's how we get in trouble. <laughs> exactly. Well, once again, I want to thank Linda Kay for being our very first guest. Yes, Hero Linda Show. Kay. Guest, how about, you know what? She finally came clean she and did. admitted she gave me a bogus name. Uh, and on a few things. She needs to come clean on a few more. We'll bring well, her back on. Yeah, it, that'll be for the second show. Yeah. I know there's a lot more dirt. We're on the internet. I mean, we can, you know. You know, if you Google search Linda Kay, uh -huh. a whole lot of stuff comes up. Really? Yes. I'm going to Google search that. Very interesting. I've got my phone so, right here in my pocket. Of course you do. Of course I do. Is it on vibrate? Of course. Because we can't have it ring right now. <laughs> Listen, it's always on vibrate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Especially if Pepper's coming over. Well, you know, Al, I think... I got a pregame. <laughs> you C4. Exactly. There's nothing better than a good C4. Get before. yourself a little pre-workout there. That's all you need. Yeah, break a sweat before you go in. That's... Absolutely. It's all, it's all about... And you don't want to get a, you know, pull a hammy or something right in the middle of it. That's bad. No, you don't want to pull a hamstring. Because yeah. that just screws up the whole flow. Flows the flow off, yeah. So. Right in mid-stroke. <laughs> ah, and then they think you know you're done, but you're not done because you're in pain. You know you what I mean? In pain. It doesn't work. And then you then you got to really then you then you have to rub it out. Yeah, then you can't that, rubbing that out ain't fun because no. you got to try and rub the other thing out. So. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know what? We need to bring in our next guest because once again we're short on time. The, yeah, I only get so much time on a Monday night here. True, true. They and, should uh, give you all the time you want. And I agree. Yeah, you know, but stupid let's TV bring out the former. WWE Tag Team and Light Heavyweight Champion, one of our very good, dear, close, personal, longtime super friends. Yes. Scotty Too Hottie. Yes. I, I won't hug you like I did Linda Kay. Hey, How's it going? I'm great. How are you guys? Oh, we are fantastic. Wow. This Look. is pretty cool. I got to thank you for coming right out of the woods from your lumberjack job and coming here to the TV. I've been waiting to come on for a while, so Thanks. I guess this is the right place to do yeah. it. Nice phone. That long haul you truck driving thing is going you know well what? for you. The story on this phone is I was driving around town and I came across an estate sale. And there was a young family selling all their grandmother's goods. She had just passed. Bless her heart. Soon room temperature. Yeah. And you feel good about that? Well, you know. Why and, let it go to waste? Well, no, it's a it's a beautiful phone. I mean, I've had a, a lot of amazing conversations on this thing. A lot of sure. deals have been done. Just like the hooker one, just lately. <laughs> Cinnamon and pepper. Did you? We can get cocoa for you if you'd like. She's available. Also. I'm full. Thanks. Dark okay. chocolate. So they say dark chocolate's a lot healthier. This family. I asked them how much the phone was. Hmm. And they said it was 100 bucks. I was like, oh, 100 bucks? I go, it's an estate sale. They're like, well, it was our grandmother's, you know, yeah. favorite phone. It was in her family from well, Mexico. Well, let me tell you something. For 100 bucks, she better be calling me. We agreed on 20. Oh. So, but, you know, it's Pesos. fantastic. It Any looks velvet great. paintings at this estate sale? There were, yes. I love of, uh, tigers. Ah, Lots of I tigers. And Elvis. Jesus. I did not see an Elvis. Elvis. There was a Pancho Villa. Who? It's, it's a taco place. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. So, but oh, it's fantastic. But, you know, that's the story on the phone. It's fantastic. But, you know, I've been waiting to get you on this show, Scotty, with Al, because, you know, let's be honest. You tried to derail Al Snow's career. What? Yeah. Back when they were too much. Yeah. They tried to keep you out of the WWF at the time. That's true. They did try to keep me out. You know, it was on a pay-per-view. It was Al Snow against too much. But I don't, I don't hold a grudge. I don't. The famous head and shoulders finish. Yeah, we kind of overshadowed. That was the same night that uh, uh, Mick Foley took that little spill off the top of that. Um, was that the same night? Same night, but we kind of uh, overshadowed that. Yeah, with we that, certainly that, did with that uh, bottle of shampoo. It was phenomenal. Yeah. Up the head, you know, but certainly. But it, it's, it's great to see that 16 years later, you guys have buried the hatchet. You've done a lot of great business. Time's moved on. You know, it heals all wounds. I thought the match buried my career. It, it pretty much did for mine. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here we are. <laughs> we are here. We are, we are at the David Hero Show live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where you guys have been a huge part of the Great Lakes Championship wrestling shows, the Blizzard Brawl shows. It's been an honor. Lots you of know, shenanigans. We're hoping that if we can this year maybe run a fundraiser, we can buy shoes for Linda Kay. You know, so. you know what? We might have to do a Super Friends for Linda Kay shoes. Yeah, that's you know. She does have nice feet, though. She she does. Does. Fantastic. They're great for climbing yeah, they're trees. Probably the best feet I've <laughs> seen yeah, on so the show. You know, I mean, 
During the commercial break, I got tweets from Tony Atlas and Gene Snitsky. Really? Yes. About now, I tell you what, those are two men that know feet. They, they're Especially Tony. They're, yes, they are feet experts. Yeah, they are. You know, and... Yeah. Uh, you ever had a monkey paw? <laughs> no, I, no. Isn't that a donut? No, it's not a donut. No. Even though it could be, it could be made right? into a jelly roll. <laughs> With cinnamon. <laughs> You might cocoa. ask her, or yes. pepper. Yes, <laughs> and pepper. Yeah. You know, I forgot to ask Linda, you know, we uh, before, well, maybe the next time she comes out, one of her favorite desserts is the fortune cookie. Oh, really? Yes. We had that chat once before, and she loves fortunes. Well, you know that if you, the way to make every fortune in a fortune cookie work is to put in bed at the end of everything. So you will be successful tonight in bed. You know, you will find a large mistake in bed. Very fortunate. <laughs> I bet you that's what one Damien gets quite often. A large mistake in bed? In bed, yes. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, so Scotty, you've but you've spent some time lately down at NXT. You've been helping training some of the young kids down there. Are you the reason why Emma took the iPad from Walmart? Hey. I had to teach her something, you know. Uh huh. And you uh, gotta teach her that. Yeah, yeah. I know how to do the worm and I know how to do a few other the things. The self checkout lane. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> It is the uh, self-checkout lane. <laughs> if, you want to learn, if you want to learn how to do hammerlocks and headlocks, you better ask him. But Head, Headlocks, of course. Uh, headlocks, but worms and... Theft. Ext extra <laughs> 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 nice feet. <laughs> nice feet she has, though. Fantastic. Fantastic. Really Emma? Oh. You know, the Linda Kay's feet will be trending by the time the show is done. They're, They're trending right now. Wow. They were trending before the show. Hmm. Maybe we'll have to get her post a foot selfie yeah. later on tonight. So, Scotty, what have you been doing? I mean, you've been, you know, you, you were doing a... Oh, I was sitting over there for a while waiting for you to introduce me. But and before uh, that, you were working in the fire department. No, you know, I'm not sure. And didn't you just have a project where you evaluated amusement parks? Yes, yes, oh, I'm, I'm evaluating. Yes, 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 your new yes. reality show that's yes, coming yes, out. Yes, 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 you've heard about that. Tell us a little bit about that. Well... <laughs> It's um, it's kind of complicated, but um, most uh, most of them are. Is it like blind date at an, an amusement park? It kind sort of, thing? of is, yeah, yeah. And you with bring a, with a side twist and a roundabout way, yeah. And it's sponsored by Wausau Homes, correct? Absolutely. Because it's prefabricated um, marriage. Uh, yeah, yes. Families, families, yes. 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 Yes, very very much like. So that. you just did your first taping down at Universal or Disney? Um, yes. Both. Yes. Fant Yes. This is going to be a huge hit. Yeah, I, I have good feelings it. about it. And, and when is it going to air? Al said he stands behind the idea. And, I do. And me. I do. Yes. I always stand behind you, even in 100%. the shower. One hundred percent. Yes. <laughs> Just use soap, powdered soap. It takes longer to pick up. Well, okay. Obviously, you know, you've obviously signed the uh, confidentiality agreement on that. You can't talk too much about it. But I did see on YouTube, and, and, and hopefully, intern Cal can pull up the video. You know, when we put put the show together. You were wrestling with Hurricane Shane Helms over, where was this? Ecuador. Ecuador. And the female manager got involved in the match. And screwed up. And screwed up. Yeah. And Scotty Tuhati gives her a... Body slam. Was it a body slam or a power slam? No, it was a body slam. It how, was a very hard body how slam. How does that happen? What, what, what happened there? Uh, but this body slam it was, a lack, of, was, it was a lack of um, interpretation. Lack of was there a language barrier in Ecuador? Barrier, the, yes, yeah. There usually is yeah. between women and men. It's now called the body slam heard around the world. Yes. So uh, apparently does, she does shot it? a gerbil out of her rear end, and then a woman was in the front row and wore it like a coonskin <laughs> oh, cap home. God. It was just amazing. He slammed it her so hard. It was actually very entertaining. Yeah. Well, you yeah. got you to tell us the story. Because yeah. the video, I mean, it's one thing to see the video, but to hear the story from you is just that much better. I think Hurricane tells the story better than I do. But. Well, he's not here right now. To but, coin a phrase, he slammed her so hard she queefed a balloon to <laughs> <laughs> from a used condom. It just was like. <laughs> she wasn't in, where she, in the spot that she was supposed to be in, and she was supposed to be in it. And uh, I had no other choice. You I got heated. You, you were frustrated, obviously. I was very frustrated. Frustrated. Yes. Uh, um, what would you have done? You know, it's tough because. Um, uh, you know, they, they talk about battered women all the time, and I've been eating mine plain all these years, so. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't. So are you allowed to go back to Ecuador after I that incident? I don't think so. No? no? No, which is okay. It's okay. But you got paid, right? I got That's paid. That's the important thing. Yeah. And you and Shane Helms in Ecuador. We had a good laugh, and 
the story has become legendary. It has become legendary, yes, yes. and uh, the video has gone viral, and there are millions of hits. If you zoom in, you can just watch it shoot right out. Squee just goes, Poof. When you ask something, now see you're going to get me hot. If you ask somebody if they can do something a hundred times before you go out there, see, we're and finally then you get out somewhere. there. Yes, we are. We're starting to get down into the dirt. So what was she supposed to do? She was supposed to interfere in the, at the second worm. So there's supposed to be a worm. And then... One of the greatest moves in all of wrestling. Uh, I wouldn't... Uh, yeah. Sports entertainment, maybe. Uh, and then... And the second worm, she was supposed to be there to stop it. And I was supposed to put her over my knee. And, and this is what the promoters wanted. Put, a, put her over my knee. And Shane and I were supposed to spank her. Which... Is some women pain? like that. Yes, some of them do. Yes, and yes. you're very good at that from what I hear. Yeah. You heard that, really? Yeah, I heard that. That was, on, that was on another YouTube video. I think it was... The uh, pilot for your reality show. Uh, the amusement park. Yes. That was it. Yes. A little so, disengaged, though. Yes, very disengaged. So she was, um, anyway, she, she was there for the first worm, not the second. They and always are for the first one. <laughs> <laughs> so then, did she, did, she, did she get in the middle of the ring then? She or? was standing right beside me as I went to do the worm, and I said, get out. <laughs> she didn't get out. And that's a universal <laughs> word, right? Get out? Get out. <laughs> I think you can understand that, that in Mandarin. Point, yeah. And why don't you just sit there and stare at you? Stand there and stare at she you? She stood there, stood there and stared at me, yeah. And then you just grabbed her and gave her the best. Uh, well, I looked at Shane first. and Did she make a sandwich, at least? <laughs> After. Oh, well. <Yeah. laughs> then the body slam wasn't wasted. You know, if a woman comes at you with a knife, then you just throw pieces of bread at her and some lunch meat, and then she'll, her that's instincts will kick in, she'll start making a sandwich. <laughs> Well, that's what you should have done. Well, yeah, you know, you and, and, and of course Shane Helms is there, and he's out, if, if he's the voice of reason, yeah. then you know there's a problem. We're in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, well, so. that's fantastic. So Ecuador is off your list. You can't go back there anymore. It really isn't. I was supposed to be there last week, and it was one of those deals where uh, I was booked, and then... Uh, just nothing happened. Well, you know, I mean, wow, <laughs> it's amazing. You know, word gets around pretty quick. <laughs> that is stunning. That in a a profession like professional wrestling, that you would actually be booked, uh, expect to go, and then no magically just nothing occurs. Yeah, 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 it's Nothing's a, followed through. It's yeah. so rare. Yeah, it's yeah, so yeah, so. Yeah. What a unique situation. Now I understand the two of you also. <laughs> There's no bitterness. On not at show. all. <laughs> Spend some time in Orlando, Florida, at a. Cosplay convention. Yes, it was very um, busy. Uh, no, not busy. What not busy. Um, <clears throat> what was the lady? I would want the, to. The lady that you bought that phone off. What was she? Let me explain this to you. Uh, she dead. Was she was no, Mexican. she was dead. If you oh, can imagine, yeah. if you can imagine people walking around in outfits that look like they were actually just a busted can of biscuits, you know, busted. or like bread with string wrapped around it and then baked, it was. You know, superhero outfits that they're not so super in. No. No. And a lot of That's them, in Orlando. You think there's a lot of beautiful people in Orlando for yeah, it. There's are, not. But yeah, they, they weren't yeah, at that convention. Yeah. The I wanted to set thing my hair very on interesting. Oh, it is very interesting. I learned a lot about cosplay that weekend. Yeah. I wasn't cosplay. sure what it was. Yeah. Didn't learn enough, though, because we couldn't never capture one. You know, but God, the, the smell of glitter and daddy issues that pervaded that room was insane. And that wasn't a strip club. That no, was at a cosplay club. It wasn't. That was no. the smell of cosplay. Yeah. yeah Sad, though these days you go to a strip club and it looks like a cosplay convention it's like the independent wrestling's taken over everything it really has has it yeah independent wrestling you guys have both been active on the independent wrestling scene al we've heard your road stories we've heard about the wrestlemania moment we've heard about the midgets and i have scotty you've got to have a, a, a absolutely tremendous but, but besides midgets. the body slam heard around the world what has been your absolute best worst independent wrestling experience God, they vary. That's the thing. That's the thing with independent. You don't know what you're getting into, and with the internet, you're so accessible now. Um, you might have a complete goof contact you to book you, or you might have a legitimate, completely legitimate, uh, decent promoter, you know, book you. So, um, and Al's always my go-to guy whenever I show up to a really stinker. It's, it's uh, he keeps help, helps keep me sane with it. But I actually had one a few weeks ago uh, in West Virginia, and the guy picked me up, uh, and of course, in his. Um, uh, Beat up minivan, of course. There would be no. Did you have two people picking you up? Because uh, that's usually the rule. Uh, no, it, it was there was only one. But there's a reason there was only one. It was because uh, was only when he seat? picked me up, the question was, "Do you want to go eat?" Now I had an early morning flight, and uh, you know, of course, hadn't eaten. That's well, a given. Whenever you land, you gotta go eat. Right. So his question was, "Do you want to go eat, or do you want to go to my son's little league game?" <laughs> <laughs> so 
immediately. I of course, you went to the game. Uh, no, of course, I texted Al Snow <laughs> first <laughs> to entertain him. Well, you, you could have had a hot dog and a handshake at the game. You're right. You know, right. you've been all yeah. set. Yeah. Who doesn't want to? Who wants to miss this that kid's little league game? Right. Yeah. Exactly. Because yeah. you know. That's, that's a moment. fantastic. Yeah, so made an appearance. West Virginia. Now, that's where the men are men and sheep are scared, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a prime example of how our government has let down this country, is that people still live in West Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Well, Scotty, I appreciate you being our guest on the David Hero Show, which is obviously, I'm hoping that, you know, when Damien realizes that it wasn't that expensive to fly all you guys in for this, that he'll want to keep this ball rolling. I use my frequent flyer miles, but it's... No, no, but, but for cocoa and cinnamon and pepper. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, what yeah. I'm talking about. I had a brief affair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to the David Hero Show. I am David Hero, along with Scotty Tuhati, Al Snow, and the lovely Linda Kay. Thank you so much, and we hope to see you guys within the year again. Thank you much. Yes! Yes! Uh -huh.